Hi everyone, so today I have a sponsored video for you from Tonic Studios for their new showcase. It is the uh, Eternal Love Lantern die set. Gorgeous set. Of course I get samples so it looks something like this, but yours will be packaged differently with instruction and like a little kind of folder kind of thing. Um, and so we will work on this right now. So this um, was set for your charge for my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase. I am so those links. It does have some extensive um, instruction that will come with it. You saw in the thumbnail what we're creating. Uh, you can definitely make it into a votive where like you use these dyes here to make it more translucent or see-through so you can put a little votive candle in there. Of course, I would say a flameless candle. Uh, unfortunately, I just uh, gifted pretty much all my flameless uh, votives. So hopefully I'll find at least one if we can try it out. If not, you know, you'll, you'll get the idea. Um, but uh, different ways to use it. Uh, I do obviously we go step by step is generally what I do in my videos. So today will be mostly that. If I do, you know, inlays, I, I will probably do them on the outer portion. But again, you can use the inlays on the actual sides of the um, lantern so that it is see-through. And then you maybe just back it with some vellum or however you would like to do that. So. Um, we'll just get right to it. So let's talk a little bit about the construction. We are going to need some basic pieces. So as you see here, we have like squares. We have like what would be like side pieces. We have maybe this is part of the mechanism. You know, it is a lantern. It can be flat on the top. It can be domed on the top. It can have one little basket at the bottom that actually holds like maybe some extra tea lights or maybe some little candies or something if you're using it as a gift box or um, you know stack a couple of them. Whatever you or just a stack of them. Right. There's lots of ways to play with this to change it up to be what you want. I'm going to do the basic what uh, is intended in, in, in a way, right? So uh, we need like this piece, which is a lantern side. You're going to need uh, the drawers. Again, I'm going to do one drawer because that's kind of what it looks like, but you can stack them higher or however. Um, we need the drawer shelf, which is this guy. And I'll tell you how many of each of them in just a moment. Um, you need your uh, storage beveled edge and then storage flat edge. So these, some of these are beveled so they come down off the dome off the top and some are flat like this. So we're going to need both of those. These are just the main pieces, right? And you know I like decorating afterwards. Sometimes it's better to decorate ahead and then put things together, but I always do it pretty much afterward. Um, you're going to need stage supports and the roof cap and the roof slope. So stage supports. Uh, this is the roof slope. This is the roof cap. It has a little funky shape. Uh, not that one. <laughs> Hold on. This one. I was like, I know I have it here. Uh, this guy is, a, and again, one of the main pieces. And I said a stage support, right? Which is this one. These are just, again, I'm kind of sticking to just the main pieces right now as opposed to like the decorative pieces. We need the latch, which can come can come at the end, but uh, it looks like this. This is our latch piece. And then we need the drawer cover one or two, it says. So we'll see about that. Drawer cover is this one. And then we need this little guy. Where is he? The square with a little piece in the center. This one is our cap cover. And shelf back is optional, it says. I do want to pop that in there, though. Um, I've been making boxes, like sometimes I'll just make them by hand and things, and if you're going to use something that's kind of like a matchbox, which is basically what's going to happen at the base of our lantern, if you don't cover the back, it can slide out the back, which maybe you don't mind, maybe you want it to slide, you know, left to right, back and forward, however you want to orient your um, little drawer, but I am going to go ahead and put this on there so that it doesn't fall out the back, our little drawer, so it's this guy. I believe. Yes. So um, I think that's all the main pieces for now. Uh, what I'm going to do is quickly look at the instruction and see what it says about having one or two of the drawer cover, like why I would cut one as opposed to two of this guy. And I'll be right back. So there are some options for your drawer pull. Do you want it to be the same little kind of pull tab as you're going to have on the top of your um, your lantern, which is basically this piece, is going to help you do that. We haven't talked about this piece yet, um, I don't believe. So I may or may not use this. You can also just use this little, this one here, to make like a little pull that you're going to pull your drawer open with. So let's stick to the main pieces right now. I'm going to put this to the side for just a moment, and then we'll go with that. So, um, you know, I always, it seems like I tend to go with black. Um, <laughs> 
like base papers so maybe today let's do cream color let's do a cream color to keep it kind of light and I'll let you know for each pieces so the this one we need one of this that's the roof cap for the roof slope this guy we need four of this so one two three four it's a square shape hopefully you can kind of make that out from this uh, the base shape we need um, well, let's try to stick with the roof stuff. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. St uh, the stage flat edge, so at the bite of the base, we need this guy. We need f uh, four of this. We will need. Um, so, okay. I just read that we need four of this. Unless we do two of these stages, I don't know why we need four of them. But that's what it says, so I'm just going to leave it at that for now. If we only need two of that, obviously we'll make corrections later, I'll let you know. We only need two of this one, the stage beveled edge. And then we need uh, the stage base. Where is that guy? Oh, sorry guys. Oh my goodness. Stage base. We need uh, t uh, five of this one. Okay. And this is going to make caps for like the top and the bottom, the drawers, like different reasons we're going to need several of that one. So we need five of that one. The drawer shelf, if you're making one drawer, you need two of this. Um, and then you're going to also need two of this for each drawer you're making. So we're making one, we need two of this. The latch, we only need one. Again, I don't know that we need to focus on that right now, but there it is. For the very top, if you're going to use that little cap, we need one of this guy. Let's go ahead and bring the ring pull in now because that has to do with this. This and this guy, you're going to make like a little square kind of thing that you can ha handle and it goes inside of this little hole. So one of this guy and one of these. Unless you're going to use this also to open your drawer, then you would need two or three, however many drawers you have. But you need one for the very top. And um, this little guy here, we need four of them. And then the sides, of course, you need four. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just run these through some cream colored paper and the best way I, you know, I always try to put as many pieces as I can in one pass and then that way we only have a couple of passes or whatever. Most of these things are two of each, um, just if you have, you know, four. So I'll be right back. Before I really get to it, I'm sorry. And generally in my videos, you guys know, I try to measure the largest die for you. This one's longer. Um, and then I realized I jumped right into it without really talking about a lot of the items. So five and a half inches on that one, the height, the width is only about um, two and a half, almost two and uh, five eighths maybe. This guy is like four, almost five, if you're looking at this tab here. And the other direction, about four and a half. So hopefully that gives you an idea for your, um, you know, machine that you might have if that works and then I just want to point out there are tons of inlays there's like a lady here there's like a gentleman's uh, side view there's just this beautiful netting there's this beautiful inlay here that makes like another just really ethereal look you have obviously to decorate the box with I'm going to make mine more of a gift box today because um, again unless you let's say you want it to, to be very much a votive that you're going to oopsie, put like a little light in then you can definitely take like this guy, pop it in there, run it through, and now you have that inlaid right in this so it's you can see all the way through it. Or maybe that one in this one, or that one in the ladies, you know, profile or the gentleman's profile. You can put them all together and you're, it doesn't cut the edge. So if I popped in one of these guys, um, it's just a nice decorative way of doing that. Oopsie. And so that will be on your side. So when you go to cut four of these, you're going to cut four of them with the inlay. And that way it's very gossamer and see-through. And then you're just going to layer the back with a piece of vellum. You can still put this on top of it again if you want to like double it up. But you definitely need holes in this so you can see through, right? Um, I mean, there's going to be different ways you can play that up. So I do want to mention that. There's beautiful tags in here. I mean, there's just lots of things. Very romantic. There's like just pieces that, you know, little tags, other pieces we might need for closures and things, um, drawer covers or, you know, possibly little tags, say like Mr. and Mrs. Um, this cute little shape here. I mean, there's just lots of fun ways to play with this. Um, the words like celebrate with us. I love that. Um, an eternal love or just, you know, more of an everyday thing. You don't have to put those things in there if you just want it to be something nice um, for, you know, just to use here and there. So, sorry guys, I just want to quickly mention that, but I'll be right back.
four of the flat stage pieces. So we're going to make two stages that are flat and then these two bevel ones, like I said, go on the roof. So we have those four and I'm going to grab four of uh, these little square bases. That's what we need now. I do have my four sides. I have, you know, my drawer items here. I have, actually I cut two of these. I only need one. Um, I had said one, but just, you know, I was transferring things over and I let this guy go over. It's for the back of the drawer, so we just need one of those. We have these four guys. We have things that are like the tops and pools and other things, but we'll deal with those in just a minute. And that's also for the lid part. So for this one, the second step after cutting everything, they want you to go ahead and glue one of these guys to the next one like this. Okay, so just two of them together. I'll do the same thing with the other one. So you have a set like this. Now um, you can definitely fold them first, score them, or go ahead and do this part first. But I'm also going to do the score lines because we're going to go into this portion. So we need two of these guys. I'll put the other two over there. And we have one left over for later because we're going to need five of them. And so with these guys, I'm going to go ahead and score these. I will use a scoring tool and I can make them nice and... Um, this work just nice. <laughs> so across here, across here. This is an interesting little piece. So I'm gonna do what they recommend. But if you find that um, gluing it to the bases in a different way is easier for you, then do that. Um, I would probably make a frame and glue it on one, and then glue the other one on top. But they're showing to leave it open on one edge, so it ends up being like a little box, and then sliding that piece back in. So a little different. Again last little line here okay so a little crisper there and what we're going to do is bring these guys in like i said they're saying to leave that last portion um just one of the last edges just open so we're going to start with this guy that has the little glue tab put some glue on here glue on here and glue on here just those first three from that one. I'm going to glue it on the wrong side, so the nice side is facing down. That way, if someone looks at the bottom of the box, it looks nice and finished down there. So we're just going to put this here, right, right along the edge, as best as you can. That looks nice and crisp. And basically, bring this guy around, and again, right to the edge, and then. I'll do one more. Actually, this one I should have pushed it down a little bit. I still have it turned up quite a bit. There we go. And at this point, what I'm going to do is put it against my table just so I know it's nice and flat and looks good. Okay, so as long as it's right along the edge, just holding these guys here. Just giving them a second to firm up and stay there. And the next one. I'm giving you a little moment here if you want to burnish that. Looks pretty good. Okay, on this side, I have these a little bit up. You know, whenever we do something where I'm going to take a piece of paper and just put it on top, I want these guys to kind of flip up just a little bit. I hope you can see that I get an angle. That way when you push the paper down, it's making contact with all the different edges there. Here. I'll take this guy. Put it right on top. And I can feel that it touched those little glue tabs. And you know, once it's set up, you can turn it over and then slide this guy in there and make excuse me and make sure that uh, it's making contact. So like right now, I'll just wait a little bit. Maybe now I'll turn it over. And you can take something like that, just make sure it's where you want it to be. That's the other thing. I can take this and kind of slide it more this way. I can see that. I would want this touching the edge a little closer there. That looks pretty good. Okay. And this guy, again, before I bring it in, maybe I'll flare it out just a little bit. Put our glue. Put glue on this one. And just on this little tab. And now when I bring this in, it's flared out a little bit and then it touched that tab and that is our last bit and that's how they recommended doing it okay all right I'm just gonna hold that down and I'll be back and I'll make it a second one just the same way okay, so I have both of my little stages um, here 
And so the next thing we're going to do is take these two. And it says take two of these, and supposedly we're only supposed to cut two, so we have the two. Hopefully that's the case. Um, we're going to glue these guys together in a way that makes a strip, which I guess is this one, right? That would line up. Let me score these little guys, all of them. So we're going to glue this in a strip, and then this one you are going to glue together in like a frame before we add it to anything else. So when the other one where we kind of left it as a long strip and then attached it, this one we are going to glue together, like I said, as a frame. So it's not this down, it's the one that's going straight across here. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and score these guys because that's what I like to do. So these have one, two, three score lines. Well, you're going to score that score that and score that right so let's start with the larger one All along the side we're going to take one of the stages that we just created and attach it to one side and then we're going to put our supports which are these little guys in there and then finish it off so let's get that going so we have those then there's another set of score lines right about a quarter inch from there about as thick as these the stages we just made so, you know, we can do it this way, I suppose. And then, of course, the last set of score lines. You could have scored this first, then glue it together, whatever you think is easier. Okay, and then at the very edge, we have a little quarter inch or so glue tab. Yep. did say to go ahead and bring these around. Now these have little glue tabs here also, so you're going to pay attention to those guys as well as that last one that brings it around. So these guys, all of them, and this. So let's get a little glue going here, a little glue there, a little glue there, and then here and here. So as we bring it around, it's a little bit beveled. You know, as you can see that, that's why it's called a beveled piece, so I'm trying to pay attention to that. I'm trying to make sure these guys are meeting up there. This one looks really good. So I'll just hold both of those for a second. And then bring this guy around, which again is going to go to that little beveled area. Right here. Just right along the edge. And then these last two bits will hook in here. So let me just hold on to that for a second longer before I continue moving. Again, I love using a wet glue. Unless you rip it, it's not going to come apart. And Nouveau Deluxe, I don't want to say dries very quickly, but it'll grab very quickly, right? I mean, it, it's a wet glue, so obviously it has to take a minute to dry still. But you can see that even with that, it already grabbed it. So there. And this piece here. I have my finger inside supporting the angled portion and this other portion here. So I'm going to hold that until it's all set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we're here, in this portion we're going to need these guys and then one of our stages. So you have this side that has like a smaller glue tab and then you have this side that has like thicker glue tabs. It bevels down. So what we're going to do on this side, let's just bring these guys up, is we're going to glue one of our little stages there. So just glue, glue, glue. And remember when we made our stages, we made it so it has a nice, you know, nice side facing on either side. So just pick the one that you like best. I'm assuming it's going to be showing, I don't know, but we'll put it here. And what's nice about this is that it's actually open right now. So even though we have it right on here, we can turn it over and just see exactly where we are, where we want to push that down to make contact, right? So we can open this up. Actually, we're going to open this up anyway because we're going to create a little something in there that helps um, keep its shape. Oh, move that up back over again. Our glue really wants to hold on. Just making sure that's where I want it. That looks pretty good. And just looking down here. Kind of looking at it at an angle on the side over here. Make sure everything's good. Okay. 
Looks pretty good. So I'm gonna put that to the side. But this guy, we have these four pieces. And so basically you can fold them towards the nice side of the wrong side. It doesn't matter because they're gonna be covered. They're inside. They're just kind of a structural piece that's gonna help us have a nice um structurally sound um, piece here. So what we're doing is just kind of folding them and basically we're going to glue them together like this. Um, all four of them. So if I start here with this one, this one doesn't have a glue tab. Glue the one that has a glue tab. Obviously this shape kind of dictates that way it's beveled down like that. So you have that guy. Kind of make sure they're on the same level here. Then this guy. Put a little glue. Grab one with a glue tab to come in here. We're creating like a cross with these guys. So again, just lined up there. Make sure they're about the same height. And we have another one here that I can basically just put glue on this one and glue on this one. So I bring this guy in. He's just going to nestle in there. Okay, and that is part of our structure here. I'm just going to hold on to those and I'll be right back. Sorry about how yellow everything is, just my papers are creamy colored and the daylight just wants to pick it up that way. So we have this little cross we just made. See how it has these glue tabs? What you're going to do is take this in. It has a beveled edge, it has a straight edge. This is beveled, this is straight. We're going to take this and just pop it in here. And I mean, I don't know what you're, I love stuff like this. <laughs> I love making boxes, I like you know, making gift boxes, all that kind of fun stuff. What we're going to do here is we're going to have our last um, square. Right? So right now what we're going to do is put glue on these glue tabs. And you could have done it first, I guess. I'm going to hold it with my hand here. Just put glue all along the glue tab. And when you bring this down, I'm just going to straighten it. It's not the biggest deal, but just in there. You're going to bring these guys down onto those glue tabs. And again, the way Tonic does stuff, I mean, you can see how perfectly those miters touch each other there. And then what we're going to do here is you're going to, after that stays down, you're going to place this on top. Now, I'm going to do it all at once because, to be honest, it's easier to do this than kind of wait for that glue and hold on to it there. I'm putting glue on this just to make sure, instead of putting it on here and not knowing, because this is obviously smaller than that square. Uh, that looks pretty good, so I'm going to just push this down, and that's all it's, it is. And it does say on the notes there, like, be aware that, you know, this square it doesn't cover to the edge and I'll show you that in just a second I just want to hold this down so if you look at it it's a little bit smaller right now this thing is super structurally sound which is great I'm actually just going to place something like some weight on top of it so I can just go away for a few minutes and not too much weight but just something holding it right <laughs> and I'll be back in a few minutes. So we have a few of our pieces ready to go. So we have this one. Looks really nice and sturdy and it looks amazing. And then we have this other piece, right? So now we're going to work on our drawers. And I'm just going in the order of the um, directions. So this one we need these two little guys. And then we need the two like uh, drawers. So these are nice side facing. These are rough cuts. I'm just going to turn it this way, but first I'm going to go ahead and do my scoring because that's what I prefer. Yeah, I'm going to score everything towards the inside because even though this is kind of in the way in just the next second here, you are just going to fold those in so it's a really sturdy drawer. I love that everything in this design is so sturdy. So um, there's that. Same thing with this one real quickly. And we're just going to lay one one over the other, make a frame, and close it up, you know. So, very straightforward. And then this has like a matchbox effect for it, for it to slide in and out of. Again, with or without a back, we're going to lay one over the other like that. So, just take this guy. Again, decorate first, decorate last, or however you like to decorate, whenever you like to do that, go for it. And I'm just making sure this looks really... That looks very good. Okay, and then over here with the tabs, I'm just going to kind of lay them out just a little bit more so that they want to touch each other. And so there's that one. I'll put glue on both of these guys. Again, this is going to be in the way for the moment, but we're going to tuck them in. So I just folded them in. If you want to fold them out, go ahead. You're just going to flip it back in towards itself after a little bit here. So we have that guy. Looks good. With this guy over here. 
looks good. I'm going to hold on to that. And then, I mean, simply put glue on that glue tab, hold it, put glue on this glue tab, and hold it, okay? And then we're going to glue these guys in. So again, they could be kind of sticking out a little bit. You do want to get glue on them. But when I come back, it'll just be like a little box like that. Again, we have the box with these sides. And literally, these sides are just here to make it super sturdy. So I'm going to put glue here. And just push that down. Okay, so it's just covering up the glue tab we just did. I'm going to keep it really nice and sturdy. I'm using this to help me out. And then go to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, right? So glue in here. On the inside. Now I feel like doing things in a manner where like these two, and then these two, I mean, do whatever you like. I'm just kind of going around here. But, uh... Get in there. Make sure everything's touching. Okay, so I'll do that with all of them. And glue in there, push it down, glue in there, push it down. And it's just gonna be a super sturdy drawer. Okay, so it'll be just like that, but with glue. Okay, guys, super duper sturdy drawer. It is about two and a quarter inches, I would say. Um, and then maybe an inch or so deep. Yeah, just over an inch deep. Now we're gonna make a little. Um, slider piece that you know encases it I suppose so I'm going to go ahead and score these two pieces and I did see in the instruction and you guys will see that if you were to pick this up and maybe in the uh, product page this does coordinate with a uh, votive that's going to come out later so keep an eye out but you can mix and match the uh, a lot of the components okay so the designs especially and things so if that's something you're interested in, you can definitely expand this one then. Okay, but let me put this here. So this is that back piece in case you don't want it to slide out, but if you want to put two holders on it, or if you don't mind, you can just leave it open. You don't have to use this piece. So with this guy, again, just like anything else, we're making like that little frame shape. So let's glue those two together. And I pay attention, obviously, to the edge and up and down, you know, so it's really nice and centered and where it should be. And then, you know, once it's really holding on, you can go to the next one. And we have this guy. Now, before I close it up, if you're going to use this, you can definitely start gluing it now. You can just pop it in afterwards, right? So I did it this way just to show you what that looks like without it. And your drawer should be good to go. Oh, there's another thing. This is actually symmetrical so if you were to flatten this out you can definitely flatten this out and just look at what you're looking at that way right because it's exactly the same thing so you have a nice piece there and then you can pop it open okay it's another way of doing that and um, I'm gonna bring the drawer over Ooh, it is snug look at that actually it's probably a good thing to test it just so if you need a little bit extra you're getting that in there look at that Okay, so again, it can come out the front, it can come out the back. I probably shouldn't have done this with the wet glue, but that's okay. So if you want to keep going through just like I did, then this is fine. Um, I'm going to loosen it just a little bit. Okay, but if not, you want to back on it, which is what I'm going to do. Then just get this in here. We're going to put glue. I kind of made the tabs come out a little bit. Again, different ways to add that in. I know in their instruction they showed it like this, so that's why I'm showing you like this. But if you like making a frame with this too and then gluing it together, you know, do that. Okay. So that goes in there and I'm just going to hold that against the glue tabs. And see how that kind of caved in a little bit there? Take a tool, something sturdy, handy, and just kind of poke that back up <laughs> where you want it. Okay, so I'm just going to hold that and again I like to kind of come in here just to make sure my glue tabs are making contact. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I just popped that in there. I should wait until it's not as wet, but there we go. Okay, so again, it doesn't come out the back because of that, or the side, or wherever it is that you want to orient it again. Um, so we have those guys, so let's continue on. So what we're going to work on next is the roof like cap. So we're going to need a few of these things with this guy. We have the one piece. You're just going to score it on all the score lines. Um, this score line is actually going to go out like this, so if you want to do that now, you can definitely do that. Whatever is easiest to keep it out of your way or however while you're working. But this way and then this way. So 
the one closest to the center square and this one back. And same thing with this guy. We're going to adhere this into like a little shape and then you're going to put these side pieces onto it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and score these guys now. They also score in towards the rough side, um, even the base pieces. And those base pieces are actually going to glue onto one of the stages that we made at the beginning. Right? Remember we made two stages? So there you go. Get a little sharper there. So I'm going to score these three and I'll be right back. And so these guys with these little glue tabs, they're just going to glue inside to make like a little unique shape <laughs> like a little box but that kind of flares out the base so we're just going to take these guys put a little glue and glue it nice and straight down so as you can see it kind of just goes straight down a little square top this guy too just because i did that one already and actually let me get rid of a little bit of that glue this guy straight down and same thing with these guys, a little glue there, glue it there, glue there, and glue it there. So it's going to have like this little, <laughs> like a little pat of butter shape. I'll be right back. I'm ready for the next step. So what I'm going to do is put glue on this little glue tab. That's what these guys are, they're glue tabs. And take one of these guys and just place it right on there, right? I mean, it's exactly the same width here and here. So I'm just putting that on there. Now I think in my mind, well... We can glue them all down and then come in and deal with these guys, but I think I'm going to do it at the same time. So this guy here, again, put glue all to that edge so that way this gets nice and uniform. I will put it here, nice and straight across, lined up really nicely, but then also nestling into this guy, this one here. So across here and down there. Okay, so I'll put glue here and here. Bring this guy, and I'll meet you up at the this end. This is the last one. And if we're going to do it all at once like I was doing, we're going to do that. We're going to do this. Um, let's go ahead and put glue on this one, even though I might not pay attention to it until I get the other guys going. So again, across here, that goes underneath. <laughs> this guy goes across here and there. Hold that. And it just like wants to settle in, <laughs> so that's good. Right in here. Still paying attention to these guys. This is so cute. <laughs> very sturdy, very adorable. I'm gonna bring this up over here. Let me try to get that a little better there. Okay. And again, as I said, unless you tear it, wet glue is gonna hold whatever it is that you're doing. So right there, I kind of got it closer together to kind of really pull that in. And it looks good. And we have something that looks structurally like this. Look how cute. I mean, it's just so well put together. And these bottom ones, they're kind of flared out right now, and that's okay, because what we're going to do is take um, this little guy, one of our stages again, and glue it on. So I am just going to um, give it a minute, because I don't want to mess with it too much. It still has a little bit of wet glue, right? Give it a minute, and then we'll come back and glue this on here. For this lantern, I might use like it's lavender purple and like this some of this shiny purple paper that I have. So funny enough for this one, this guy right here, when we go to make our little piece that goes on top, which is this guy, our pull tab, um, this can be a decorative piece. It doesn't have to be this creamy color or the same color as your base or whatever you want. Any of these things we could have played around with in different ways. So I think I'm going to just run this one through again in the metallic purple. So it's just uh, this shape. And, you know, I was just kind of concentrating on the construction of it, not really the design look of it. So I'm going to run that through this, and we'll work on that in just a minute. This can also be a fun color, you know, it doesn't have to be just this little guy. Okay, so uh, now what we're going to do is take this guy and glue it to one of our bases. And so I'm putting glue on here. Again, it's kind of turned out in a way that I can push down, and it'll help me out right to the edges, right? We really want that glue on these outer edges, holding everything down and looking nice and crisp. And so this guy, a little pat of butter. <laughs> um, pick the side that you think is best. I think it looks better this way. And so we're just going to squish this down onto there. <laughs> Super easy to see. I see my paper came out over here. I don't want that. I want it to go down that way. There we go. 
and all around just checking it out and then we're just gonna hold it down all right if you think it's nice and square it's where it needs to be you can definitely pick it up and take a look but you definitely want to put some pressure on that to keep it where you want it that's pretty cool Okay, I'm just gonna hold it like that for a few minutes, or eh, maybe a minute. Okay, so back. there is this guy. So we have this kind of guy. We have this little guy that we just made. We have our drawer and uh, outer portion. So with this guy, again, we're gonna need this one. This one, I did switch it out for a different color. And with this guy, all we're going to do is score pretty much everything in, but these bottom ones are gonna go out, okay? So in and in. Right, and if you really want to make it more crisp, obviously you can do it with these guys, uh, just like that. In and out. Oh, that one's a little bit crooked. Hold on. There we go. No, it's fine. Okay. In here, out there, and then this portion. So right now, um, I'm just gonna glue this into this piece, and it doesn't really matter what's forward and what's back because um, the holes don't matter at this point but when you go to put this in later you might want to pay attention to where these little holes are okay so I folded everything inwards and basically that means these guys these glue tabs need to come in on each other and then one touching that piece there sorry I've been washing my hands a lot because I got glue in my hands and so they're a little dry but anyhow I'm holding that and then we're going to finish off by putting glue on both of these guys and holding that too. So these two guys here, outer, outer, push one in, the other one's coming here, and this guy goes up here. <laughs> okay, and that one, the easiest way I'm holding is just kind of with the pressure of my hands holding into like a little cube. Then these guys are going to splay out like this, and this is going to glue onto those. Okay, so I'll be right back. So we have our little guy here. We're going to put glue on the outer, like up on top, because we're going to push it through, again, decorative paper or whatever it is that you want to do with this. And just pop that in there. Again, it doesn't matter the direction because um, it's going to matter in the next step. Right now, not so much. Oh, I want to be careful with this. Oh, you know what? Maybe I will. Let's still use this one. <laughs> just in case because it looks like it's a very tight fit and then we'll pop in the other guy once this is squished in there ah. let's get this guy in here so I'm still using both of them it kind of gives me something to get the other one nestled in on and what I can do in the meantime too is also kind of squish that give this a little bit of a squish just making it more um, nicer looking <laughs> there we go yeah so definitely at the beginning let's really take a moment to look at all that I'm going to put some glue all around this guy and then bring in the purple one again this paper is a little more delicate so I do want to go in there and look nice instead of kind of messed with <laughs> So I'm just going around like a little skirt. Just bring it around. There we go. Looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to hold that down. And then we're going to glue this on top of this guy. All right, so we have this guy and this guy. And we're just going to glue it down. Again, I have two layers of paper. You don't have to do that. But uh, it was a very tight fit. And I didn't want my purple paper to get too wonky while I was trying to work that in. So we have this little guy, looks so cute. We're just gonna glue right on there. I'm gonna hold that down. In the next section, we are going to put these guys together, the sides, and we're going to attach it to uh, our base, I believe. Yes, I think so. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and run my panels through so I have my decorative panels instead of attaching them later, okay? So I'm gonna do it right now. So we have that guy. I'm just going to take some decorative paper, maybe the lavender paper I showed you, maybe from the um, the other paper that's a little more, well, let me think. If I want this, <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is for the decoration on this, do this, the silvery, you know, metallic paper. So maybe with this one, we're just going to run it through the lavender paper. 
and I'm going to make it more of an everyday thing, but again, you have the ladies' silhouette, the gentlemen's silhouette there. But I'm going to take this, all of this, and even this, and you don't have to do all of them. You can do just this one. You know, you can do just this. You can do just a decorative panel of decorative paper that you have, or whatever color you might want to use. Uh, I'm going to take those guys, and we're going to need four of them. So I'm just going to run this through like this, with this little guy like that and if you do it all at the same time then you definitely want to tape these things so they do not move so I'm going to pay attention to this outer one first maybe that guy and this guy and then I'll pay attention to where this guy is lined up and a lot of times when I cut one when I go to cut the next one I try to just leave the tape where it is and I just kind of transfer it over to the next area of my paper I'm going to run four of these guys through and I'll be right back pick it up just like that and if there's like a piece stuck because of the tape, I'll just pop that out, like this little piece of stuck there. And then just move it over to the paper where it is that you need it to be. Definitely clean them out, especially when you have something that has so much intricacy to it. You definitely want to clean out your die and then cut the next piece. So for these, I'm just going to go ahead and take these guys. And this is going to be at the top of your project. Um, you can definitely go ahead and score these now if you would like. A lot of times I like to glue things down when they're flat, so I just want to show you that they're going to end up being scored uh, here at the very top. It's just a little wee little score, a little glue tab or whatever that might be. Oh, I know why. It's because it has to, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's going to fold down on itself, and so it can't be too long because it'll interfere with this. So we have that. But each one of these guys, this being the top, I'm going to put this guy on here. And, you know, this one doesn't have a direction, really, per se, like the one with the lady's face or the gentleman's face. But it does have embossing and things really pretty. So I'm just going to glue this guy, like, here, right? So, um, again, we'll put the glue on the very edges. This preferred, so it doesn't go anywhere. And then from there, I go into the thicker areas. And then from there, I'll put glue on the back of my hand. Okay. And <laughs> just get some glue on those finer areas. So when I bring it over and I'm just centering left, right, up and down, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna hold it down like that and I'll do the same thing with all four sides, okay? Okay hey guys, so we have these four and what we're going to do is stick them together like, again, like a frame. So we can start with this long side of one here. And glue the next one to it, of course, in the same direction, all of them with a the little latch at the top. And we'll have that. We do have different ways, like you're seeing the latch with this little space here. There are covers you can make for it, for that area. You know, one of these guys. You can just leave it open, you can cover it up if you're not using the latch everywhere. The latch does have some different um, looks here that we can pop on there. Um, yeah, so there's just different ways to cover it up if you're not using it, obviously, in all four corners there. Uh, but okay, I'm going to put glue on that one, attach it here, glue on that one, touch it there, and I'll be right back with the four panel that's attached. Okay, guys, so we have this beautiful thing. And so we can go ahead and bring it around and attach it here. So they have different options of closing it up, and one of them would be with a magnet. So there are dies in that help you cover up your magnet, and if you just want to latch for the magnet. Today we're doing the latch latch, you know, uh, kind of option. So you can put ribbon in there or just a little rolled up piece of, like, paper. However as you want to do that. Um, just bring this closer to the edge so it's lined up nicely. Again, I suppose since this is also symmetrical, you can just squish it down and get it lined up where you want. And I'm just kind of pushing out towards the edge of the paper. There we go. Okay, I'll let that set up for a second, because the next thing we're going to do... Um, actually, you can probably do that right now. You're going to glue these guys down, and maybe it's easier to do right now that we don't have much going on. So let me give that a squeeze. What you're going to do is put glue on three of the sides. So pick the side that you want to be either the front where the latch is, you want your latch on the side, whatever it is that you want. Just going to get some glue down in here on three of them. So I'm just going to push that down in. So it just kind of finishes off that edge. But one of them is going to 
get this, not this, I'm sorry, this guy at the top, okay, to latch on. So I'm just going to hold that down. And again, I could have, uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually probably do it now. I probably should have done it while it was flat, but um, I wanted to show you how it has little holes. So obviously you're going to cover one of them up, like I had mentioned. And depending on what kind of closure or latch or however you're doing, you have this one, you have this guy that has some decoration to it. This one is exactly the same size. So I would take this and, you know, cover up these other four, right? I'm sorry, the other three areas. And then we need one with a little hole because I am going to use the latch. So what I think, and then again, that one also has inserts. See how this one has like that pattern in it? You can also use that pattern to do an insert on this one. It'll look exactly the same, but just the one has a little hole, all right? Um, you have this guy here that does some other stuff, you know, whatever it is you want. I think I'm just going to cut it. So... So I'm going plain, like this one's kind of plain. So I'm going to take, get one of those and get three of this and I'll be right back, okay? When I come back, three of these guys will have been glued down. So again, glue there and glue there and just leave one alone because we're going to use it as a, um, like a hinge. While I was cranking these little guys out, I also um, started doing the ones that go here. So I'm just gonna glue those on. So uh, I'm gonna glue them on flat, but if you wanted to pop them up, you know, give them some dimension, whatever it is that you like. I'm just going to eyeball that and pop that there on all four sides. So we have that guy decorated nicely. And with these guys, again, we need one with a latch kind of hole. And so, you know, it needs to be um, opposite the side that has the hinge. So let's say I'm going to hinge it here. So when it opens this way, I'm going to put this guy over here. Okay. And I'm just going to glue it down if there's other um, de you know, decoration you want to do, whatever it is. Just kind of think about it, plan it out. Don't want to put too much glue on that. This guy can kind of just be in here. It just kind of tops off this other little bit. Same thing with the other ones. I'll just glue them down over the top, and it's going to cover up those little latches, those little holes on the other three. Okay, I'll be right back. There's so many ways to get this box put together that it's just it's mind-blowing. Okay, so, um, okay, so we have our little latch here. Opposite from that side, we have this piece that we did not glue down, right? This. So this actually is going to open up outwards. So I'm just going to try to do that carefully. So it's hinged out like this. It's going to glue onto here, and that's what's going to have it hinging, right? I suppose you can turn it the other way too if you would like, but it looks like in the image they have it out. So, you know, you want it out, you want it in. I think it's up to you. I mean, I think it looks cleaner when it's on the inside, so we'll do that. At least that's how I interpreted it. interpreted it. But for this one, we have our little box. Again, I'll probably have my box pull same place where the latch is. If you want it sideways or whatever, or if it goes back and forth, you know, that's up to you. I have the box in there for sturdiness. In the image, it shows it kind of empty. But um, again, glue right to the edges. And then get this guy on your little box there if you don't want it you can go right to the platform if you don't want to use a little box you know um, what I'm doing is just eyeballing this again pushing it straight down onto that box there kind of looking at the sides oop I missed this one so bring that guy back there we go making sure all of my little edges my glue tabs are where they need to be and I am just going to hold on to that until it sets up a little bit. Once it starts setting up, what I can do is then just take like a tool and kind of push that in there. But for right now, I just want to keep the squareness of the box where it needs to be. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to get my fingers in there and get this one in the front nice and set up. Just like that. Um, like I said, well, I don't know. I'm trying to think of for the long term that way or this way. Let's go this way. Okay. So we have our, those things. We still need to finish this guy up, but basically decorating and then putting a pull on it. So whatever kind of pull you want to do, I am going to uh, do this next part. So we have this pedestal. You can use it. You don't have to use it. There are decorations in the kit for this also on uh, some of these little bands here. So like this little thin one can just be a purple one or whatever. You have that guy. You have like this little band that has little hearts that would be um, embossed here and there. So you can definitely use those to um, decorate those areas. Uh, I mean, we have little um, 
just a lot of different things on here so lots of ways to complete it to finish it up the way you like um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and glue it down because we did make this thing uh, this pedestal I could have made this a different color the purple or whatever um, you know it's whatever you like so for now let me get this in here I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one down so underneath here and this I'm going to put plenty of glue and that's the front I'm going to take the one side that I think looks the nicest I think we're back to where I was <laughs> right back in here and just settle it right inside of that little square and have it there and I'm going to hold that down again you don't have to use this you know it's just lots of options this is gonna be very tall look at that so pretty okay um, in the meantime I think what I'll do is go ahead and I'm trying to think how I want to do this part. Again, you can make another pool. The same little pool that's on this guy, like this. We could do that again for the drawer, and then you have a drawer cover that can help you with that, if you would like. Um, I think I'll just do the basic purple one like we did earlier, this guy. And then to open my little drawer, um, We'll use this, and then maybe we'll still use this. That way it'll have some more color. So this from the metallic purple, this from the lavender paper, and this from the metallic purple again, okay? And that's for our little handle. I know I started kind of uh, doing other things because we still need to glue this guy on here, but I'm kind of going through construction, but also how I would decorate it as I go along, I guess now. Um, you can definitely put uh, something beautiful on the sides there. You know, if I'm doing purple, we can all, we can bring back that same purple down here and if I'm going to do that I would just cut these same ones or if you were doing the inlays I mean there's so many ways to play with this so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and cut four of these for this bottom and um, one of these from the purple and one of these from the sorry lavender purple and I'll be right back okay, so again I'm just gonna glue these guys down just here here on my box and on the other side and then for our little pole I'm going to glue these guys together. It looks like they go like this. How cute my little heart is on there. So that's our little pull. So if when I come back, I'll have those sides put on and then we'll finish this guy up and we will finish up our lid with the hinge and a little um, clasp kind of closure. And I'll be right back. Or latch, should I say. So I just opened up this little guy. So we have this piece and it does have score lines here. Now you can fold it back like this if you want this to be the handle and kind of glue them down so it's a little bit puffed up or I mean you can glue them like this flat but um, still puffed up in the center right you still need this it feels really sturdy with these papers so I'm still kind of giving it a little beveled <laughs> and you can definitely do it flat or back like this so um, whichever one you like I'm just trying to get this rounded in a nice way that doesn't end up bending too harshly so if we have this little guy we'll put a little glue here a little glue here the heart is obviously facing a certain direction, so I want to put that on here. And again, I'm kind of getting it this way, so when we put it down, <laughs> I'm just eyeballing that at this point. That looks so cute. Okay, I'm just going to hold that on, making sure I'm centered. I'm just going to hold that down, guys. And then we're going to put our hinge on the top. I think this... Hey, hold on now. So, let's put it there. This little guy is our latch, if you're using the latch. So what you're going to do with all of these is fold them in. So in on this, in on this. So I want to get it nice and crisp. In and in towards the back side. These guys are very interesting. So at the very end here, this is the same shape as this guy. So we're folding that in. And we're going to glue them together on the wrong side okay so that's gonna be super sturdy same thing for this guy we're gonna glue it together here that also makes it super sturdy and then they're gonna glue together <laughs> even at that so uh, if you're using a decorative paper just keep that in mind so for right now I'm gonna put glue like here and glue in here and these guys are gonna glue together so they're super sturdy I'm just gonna hold that for a second and just make sure the loops line up And then we have those score lines, but we also have score lines there. So I don't know if you can see it, but what we're going to do is score those like that. Kind of like a W, or kind of like little chicken wings. 
and all these are going to glue down. So glue in here, glue in here, and glue them together. So this, I'm going to come down here, is a little smaller. Let's get down closer, guys. <laughs> We're bringing her home. So together here, and these two guys are going to be together. So keep it nice and flat against, you know, the base piece here. And these two guys should also be together. And I'll just hold that down. So it looks something like that. So we have that going. Again, think about if you're using nice paper, because this is the back side of the paper showing here, but this is the nice side. So you're going to want to think about that if you're using a paper that only has one side. Um, okay, so with this guy, again, hinge it with this thing facing in, with it facing out. I preferred it in. That's just me. This part, you're going to put a little ribbon in there if you want or whatever. So, it, I, you know. I don't know if it matters which direction that's facing, but if you have a certain idea that you want to get to, just think about that. I'm going to put a little glue here, and I'm not going to mess with it until I'm super ready. So we have this guy. I'm going to put it left to right, the little hole. And basically, we're just going to hold this on here. So I'm going to make sure it looks right how I want it to look from the front, because this is my front over here left and right that looks pretty good I'm just gonna hold it down like that for a little while okay it's basically this back side that needs to touch uh, I'm gonna let it set up just hold on and then what we'll do is when we open it we'll see if we have it where exactly where we want that and then we'll reinforce it by like pushing it down okay so I'll be right back it's been like 30 seconds or so but you know just kind of look around and see that it's where you want it what I'm gonna do is open this up just a little bit and see how it comes with it because of the glue and so now I can really make sure it's making contact but I'm not gonna mess with it too much because obviously I want that to set up and then this guy so with this guy you have your latch it can come forward like this or back either way this is what's gonna hold on to that side. So what I'm going to do is pop this in here. Just so I have a good idea where it's at. Oh that's perfect. I mean that is like perfectly right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna do is put a little glue. I'm gonna stand it up so it doesn't fall back. You see how it's just sitting there? We have this. I'm going to close it up and that is where our latch will be. So now it's going to touch this top part of our lantern and this lantern is deluxe my goodness <laughs> so I'm gonna let that be there and um, I'll be right back Guys, so I'm gonna finish this off with maybe um, a little bit of ribbon and maybe I'll do some of the little dies like the tags so we can put something on the top like it looks like you're gonna hang it because it's a lantern you can definitely get like I would say like book binding rings but just like maybe jump rings or something like gold or silver kind of a bigger ring and put it on there that look really cute of course this guy you can finish it off with a ribbon also with a ring with you know whatever you like the cute things from the kit there um, and then we have our little box that I'm not messing with yet because I'm not trying to rip this off of here yet but I'll just push that back in so you can see what that looks like again you can do a tower of these guys I mean so many ways you can do a tower of boxes and just have this guy on there you know or however uh, put it on this um, little pedestal but look at that so this is a sizable project I mean it's I would say about almost nine inches tall um, the area that you can fill with like candies here or whatever you would like or your votive is like two and a quarter inch square I think we talked about that earlier um, the box itself is also like a two and a quarter inch square that's one inch deep so you can put little treats in there uh, if it's separate from the votive and then we have that so I uh, walk you through the different steps what I want to do now is just finish up by adding a little tag a little something on the top so I'll do that with some music over it thank you so much tonic Studios, for sending these items for review uh, for sponsoring this video guys and there are so many ways to customize this particular um, kit so really lovely again keep an eye out there will be more inserts for this kind of thing and then mix and match you between a couple of different kits that um, you will see soon so thanks for watching I will uh, see you all at the next one bye now